Hello, this is episode 1 on writing 5 part sectional harmony, another basic arranging technique. We'll start with a simple extension to the 4 part technique. I'll present and discuss an example in different alternative close, mixed and open voicings. You'll find the audio examples presented here discussed in more detail in my book Arranging by Examples, the practical guide to jazz and pop orchestra arranging, available in the webshop. In extended four-part sectional harmony we generate an additional fifth part from an existing setting. The example is a swing jazz phrase, already discussed in episode 8 from the series on four-part sectional harmony. Let's get started. Here we see the lead part, with a number of non-chordal notes and the basic harmony for the rhythm section. Next we write a four-part sectional harmony setting in close position voicing. Using one or more of the techniques for harmonization of non-chordal notes, discussed in my book, and presented as audio examples in the 11 episode tutorial series on this channel. Here's the result of that process in staff notation and now played by a 4 piece saxophone section. Extending the 4 part sectional harmony setting can simply be done by doubling the lead in the bottom part, while transposing it to the lower octave. We obtain a 5 part close position voicing with the outer parts playing in octaves. Listen to the full section. I'll play the individual lower parts and the combination of outer parts. We modify this phrase by applying the drop to voicing technique. This implies a redistribution of parts where the original part P2 moves to the bottom part P5, involving transposition to the lower octave. The others move up a position, and now part 1 and 4 play the lead in parallel octaves. Listen to the number of consonances in the modified combination of outer parts. And the full section for this wider drop to voicing is... We may create an even wider and more open voicing by applying the drop 2 and 4 technique to the original 5 part close voicing setting. The drop 2 implies moving and transposing part 2 to the lower octave in part 4. The same holds for the original part 4, which lands on part 5. After redistributing all parts, now part 1 and 3 play the lead in octaves. We only see close voicing between parts 3 and 4. Again, listen to the modified combination of outer parts. And note the white compass in the full 5 part section. Finally, I'll demonstrate the mixed voicing of extended 4 part sectional harmony. This involves both the close position 5 part setting with the outer parts playing in parallel octaves 
and the drop two technique. Be aware of the best notes for changing the voicing approach. The result is a more homogeneous sound at an overall reduced compass from lead to bottom part. Listen to the individual parts that are not always moving in the same direction as the lead voice. And finally, here's the full section for this mixed voicing. My arranging book contains a chapter on five part sectional harmony writing, discussing all techniques and examples in this series. Order the book from the store on my website and receive your copy within 24 hours. You'll find the link in the description below. If you like this video tutorial, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Help the channel visibility by sharing and linking to these videos. A PayPal donation on my website will support my knowledge sharing efforts. Go to the website for more content and for ordering music books from the webshop. Thanks for watching. <laughs>